So the last time I talked about was Dolphin uh, batch renaming feature and some people were asking me if there was a feature like that on Nautilus uh, and there is one so let me show it off here pass out my um... alright so here's our example uh, we're gonna do it with several different files alright so it doesn't mean have to be pictures it can be like you know uh, batch scripts or even zip files it doesn't really matter the file name and all you gotta do is highlight it, right, the whole thing, right click on it, and go to file, what was that, rename files here. And here they have like different um, things you can do, either by uh, numbers or, you know, alphabet, right. Usually people use the numbers. And here all you gotta do is type in the name that you want. So we'll call it, um, I guess we'll call it Father's Day here. And I always have the little um, tic tac toe sign, or was it the pound sign, at the end. And here you can tell it to start, uh, you know, out with uh, zeros, and it will count up by uh, incrementals of one. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? So let's do the renaming now. And there you go. See, it goes uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, uh, all the way to nine here. Now you can actually do this with uh, starting out with any uh, numbers. Let me do it again. So let's say we give this one here. I don't know. I'll call it tomorrow. And um, you can if you want like to start out with like maybe a um, hundred or something, then you say I want to start this in one hundred, and you go increments of I don't know maybe like five if you want to do that, right? Do a rename, and there you go. It says 100, 105, 10, 15. There you go, right? So that's how it works. Um, it's not as um, I know I like the other one better with the uh, dolphin, but it still works nonetheless here, right? It doesn't let you do like two digit numbers uh, when when you start out with like you know zero, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it doesn't let you do that, but uh, it does work almost the same thing. And if you want to get it. Um, I think you're gonna have to compile it if you're on 32-bit. Uh, if you're on 64-bit, they actually have a dev file, so you can just install it. But if you're on like 32-bit, you ain't compiling it, uh, and you don't know how to do that. Watch my playlist on my channel, um, and I'll show you how to compile it from there. Okay, that's it for this one.